Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another day of A Year in Miracles. And as I mentioned yesterday, we finished lesson number 50 yesterday, which means today we're going to start reviewing the first 50 lessons. So in the workbook, you will see there is a review module, and I'm going to read that first. So Course in Miracles Workbook Review 1 Introduction. Beginning with today, we will have a series of review periods. Each of them will cover five of the ideas already presented, starting with the first and ending with the 50th. There will be a few short comments after each of the ideas, which you should consider in your review. In the practice periods, the exercises should be done as follows. Begin the day by reading the five ideas with the comments included. Thereafter, it is not necessary to follow any particular order in considering them, though each one should be practiced at least once. Devote two minutes or more to each practice period, thinking about the idea and the related comments after reading them over. Do this as often as possible during the day. If any one of the five ideas appeals to you more than the others, concentrate on that one. At the end of the day, however, be sure to review all of them once more. It is not necessary to cover the comments that follow each idea, either literally or thoroughly, in the practice periods. Try rather to emphasize the central point and think about it as part of your review of the idea to which it relates. After you have read the idea and the related comments, the exercises should be done with your eyes closed and when you are alone in a quiet place if possible. This is emphasized for practice periods at your stage of learning. It will be necessary, however, that you learn to require no special settings in which to apply what you have learned. You will need your learning in most situations that appear to be upsetting rather than those that are already calm and quiet. The purpose of your learning is to enable you to bring the quiet with you and to heal distress and turmoil. This is not done by avoiding them and seeking a haven of isolation for yourself. You will yet learn that peace is part of you and requires only that you be there to embrace any situation in which you are in. And finally, you will learn that there is no limit to where you are, so that your peace is everywhere as you are everywhere. You will know that for review purposes, some of the ideas are not given in quite their original form. Use them as they are given here. It is not necessary to return to the original statements, nor to apply the ideas as was suggested then. We are now emphasizing the relationships among the first 50 of the ideas we have covered and the cohesiveness of the thought system to which they are leading you. So I'm gonna jump into workbook lesson 51, which again is a review of the first five lessons. So here we go. Workbook lesson 51. The review for today covers the following ideas. Nothing I see means anything. The reason this is so is that I see nothing and nothing has no meaning. It is necessary that I recognize this, that I may learn to see. What I think I see now is taking the place of vision. I must let it go by releasing it, by realizing it has no meaning so that vision may take its place. Next lesson, I have given what I see all the meaning it has for me. I have judged everything I look upon and it is this and only this I see. This is not vision. It is merely an illusion of reality because my judgments have been made quite apart from reality. I'm willing to recognize the lack of validity in my judgments because I want to see. My judgments have hurt me. 
and I do not want to see according to them. Next lesson. I do not understand anything I see. How could I understand what I see when I have judged it amiss? What I see is the projection of my own errors of thought. I do not understand what I see because it is not understandable. There is no sense in trying to understand it, but there is every reason to let it go and make room for what can be seen and understood and loved. I can exchange what I see now for this merely by willing to do so. It is, is it not better, I'm sorry, is not this a better choice than the one I made before? Next lesson, these thoughts do not mean anything. The thoughts of which I am aware do not mean anything because I am trying to think without God. What I call my thoughts are not my real thoughts. My real thoughts are the thoughts I think with God. I'm not aware of them because I have made my thoughts to take their place. I am willing to recognize that my thoughts do not mean anything and to let them go. I choose to have them be replaced by what they were intended to replace. My thoughts are meaningless, but all creation lies in the thoughts I think with God. And the last lesson we're going to review today is, I am never upset for the reason I think. I am never upset for the reason I think because I am constantly trying to justify my thoughts. I am constantly trying to make them true. I make all things my enemies so that my anger is justified and my attacks are warranted. I have not realized how much I have misused everything I see by assigning this role to it. I have done this to defend a thought system that has hurt me and that I no longer want. I am willing to let it go. And that's it. This is lesson 51, which is a review of the first five lessons. So I hope you enjoy the lessons today. And uh, it's great that we can review them because sometimes I think we forget what we what we actually were doing back in January 1st, and why not? Because uh, it's 51 days later. So good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Good morning, Cindy. Great to see you here this morning. Hi, Barb. Good morning, Colette. Nice to see you. Hey, Raylene. Good to see you this morning. Hi, honey. Good to see you here. Hi, Carl. Great to see you. Good morning, Frank. Hey, good to see you. Uh, hi, Francine. Good to see all of you. Good morning, Perul. Good morning, Chris. Nice to see you. Jesse's here. Hi, Terry. Great to see you. Hi, Jody. Good morning, everyone. So good to see all of you. Hey, Elaine. Nice to see you this morning. Good morning, Bonnie. Hi, Mark. Good morning. Or good morning. <laughs> Less than 50. Uh, hi, Laura. Nice to see you. Hi, Mario. Good to see you, too. Hi, Jeremiah. Nice to see you here. Good morning, everyone. Yes, choosing love over fear. That's right, honey. Um, so these are great reviews of the first five lessons, and uh, I hope you enjoy them today. And if you would like to add your thoughts and what's coming up from you for you, please join us in the private Facebook group and feel free to join if you're not already a member. But we talk about what's happening and what's coming up and we get a little bit more understanding in the lessons and their meaning behind uh, some of the words, because words are really symbols of symbols. And if we've already projected our untrue meanings and thoughts onto some of the words, um, they might be confusing. So uh, feel free to join us there. And thank you again for joining me this morning. See you tomorrow morning for our next lesson, which would be the review of the next five lessons. But in the meantime, enjoy reviewing the first five and have a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.